right. I know it's been a minute, like three weeks. Uh, be honest, like I said, I got too comfortable. I'm being a hypocrite. I said, don't get too comfortable and whatever's going on in your life, don't let that shit affect you. The first few things I did was get comfortable and let shit affect me. <sighs> but believe it or not, I was surprised myself that people were like, yo, what's going on? Like, you get yourself back on track. And I was like, damn, like, I don't know. Kind of made me feel well. Like, people actually like, see my shit. But still, um, they're right, though. Like, I need to get back on track. So now I'm coming back stronger than ever. I lost most of my gains. I'd probably be a little weaker, but it's like I said, I gotta get back on track. So, what the fuck am I doing now? We're getting back on track. So, just know I'm not doing that stupid shit anymore. I'm not gonna be like, yo, this shit happened to me, this shit happened to me. I've been doing mad shit, but I'm not letting that shit affect me anymore. I don't give a fuck. Whatever happens, happens. Whatever happens, happens. What is up, bro? Today is Monday. Um, I'm driving home right now on the fucking Big Chaz. I don't even know, bro. Just know I got to change. Then we hit in the gym. You can fucking see. You know, I said I'll fucking like it. Look at my fucking face. No, bro. We don't want that shit. Going to the gym. No one's stopping us. No, no, no bad things. No good things. No changing moods. Fuck that. Fuck that. It's like I said, bro. Whatever's going on in your life, you good. You good. Your girl broke up with you, bro. It's alright, bro. Trust me, I've been there. Just, just deal with it, bro. Like, honestly, the best advice I can say is not ignore the feelings. Because you gotta just accept it. And you gotta, like, flush that shit out of your system. And then, like, bro, if you still feel like shit, go to the gym. Take out your sadness. Take out your anger on the gym. And sometimes, honestly, i say rather than staying inside and, like, deprived from the world, like, you know... Go out with your family. Go out with your friends. If you don't have friends, then go out with your family. Uh, last thing I always say is get closer to God. Like, yeah, you might feel like, no, nah, I don't want to get closer to him now that something's bad happening to me and not before. Bro, trust me, it's never too late to look and turn to him, bro. Just just do it and you're good. We in the gym, though. We in the gym. Look at my fucking face. Oh, see all this fucking acne? You think I want that stupid shit? No, bro. All right, we're going to do... um back and shoulders today so we're gonna like two or three back workouts we're just gonna go for this uh, wide grip black pull down Let's see if we can record it Up next is lateral raises. I just came out of the gym. Finished. Bro, I've been mentally fucking tweaking recently, bro. I'm not gonna lie, I'm like struggling right now. 
like I don't even feel like going to the gym but I got myself back on track and you know I lost all the way to that game <sighs> shit's just fucking weird right now bro I know I'll get over it I'll get through this just got the right people in my life Tuesday we're eating rice this is lean beef shrimp two for ketchup drinking water but at the gym at the end of the day improve for yourself like don't don't do it like for someone else don't say like oh i'm trying to seek revenge or oh i'll show them what they're missing out on do this and that just do it for yourself like at the end of the day just think about like if your past self looks at you now is that really what you want to be like like no you know like let's say your past self looks at you now would they be proud of it would they be like damn i can't wait to grow up and be like that no bro they probably won't all right, we're gonna go to the gym later. Just chilling. You know, just focus on yourself, gang. Like I said multiple times, it's like a lot of times shit won't go your way. You might think for a second, oh, no way, I can't believe this shit's happening to me and you're happy. But never get too comfortable, they said. From the day to tomorrow, shit changes, bro. And I mean that. Some people are going to come back into your life and, like, just try to mislead you and shit like that. It's up to you to, like, keep your guard up, set boundaries. Like, I'm not saying I interject people who are trying to go back into your life, but, like, just always be aware, be on your toes. And, like, because one day you'll be fine. You'll be back in your life and like, oh, yeah, let's go. And the next, you're fucked. You're back at rock bottom. Like I said. So always keep your guard up because at the end of the day, you have to help. You have to have self-respect for yourself. Stop stressing over shit that's not going to be there anymore. Something that's not there anymore. Something that probably won't even, won't even like rekindle. Something that won't even probably be any better. Just focus on yourself. Keep doing your own thing. You know, and they'll come back. And like I said, when they come back, you just got to be like on your shit. You gotta be on your grind, doing what you're doing, doing good. And don't let them coming back into your life, like, fuck it up. And, like, you, I don't know, maybe you start folding or you do stupid. Like, you do stupid shit. You go back into bad habits now. You're a new person. And just maintain it that way. No gym. No gym. <laughs> Why did you tell you say that? This, this is the shit you see in the cut. This is not cut material right now. This is bulk.
Oh yeah, so while editing the video, I realized that like I record shit. This is a 10 minute video. What the fuck? But nah, this week I'll be getting more like actual focused and shit. I need a fucking haircut too. But yeah. Um my bad. But like I said, we're getting back on track. That's all that matters. <laughs>